Hey everyone, today I wanted to show you a few improvements I've made to the terrific Build Drone Magnetic Miniatures Case video by Mr. Duncan Rhodes. To start with, I was having trouble finding good strong rubber steel, so instead I cut a piece of tin roof flashing from the local hardware store into the shape I wanted to fit the really useful box like Duncan used. The tin is cheaper than rubber steel that I was seeing online, uh, and with a pair of tin snips is pretty easy to cut to shape. Just be, be careful of those sharp edges. It comes in big sheets, so you can get it in whatever size you need. The first improvement that I've hit upon, which I really prefer, I've made a bunch of these at this point, is instead of using glue, to use this double-sided 3M foam tape. This has a really permanent bond, um, and it's, it's got a little bit of thickness there, so it's very strong adhesive on a thin layer of foam, and it helps to kind of get the little bit of bend that's in the tin um, into shape. The, you know, the bottom of the plastic isn't perfectly flat. Super glue can be a little brittle when it drives, and the bottom of these do have a little bit of a flex in them, so I think super glue could flex and break, and hot glue tends to come unglued after a while, but this stuff is meant to be a permanent adhesive. If it comes in those big squares, you chop them up, and then being careful of the sharp edges on the tin, basically what you're going to do is just spread these out around, I usually put about nine of them on the tin. Once you've got that covered in tin, you peel these off to reveal the other side of the double-sided stickiness. So after showing you this stuff, I actually went out to the store to uh, look at some prices and I was about almost out of this double-sided foam tape. And while I was there, I found this same company also made by Scotch. Um, it claimed, this stuff claims up a 15 pound hold for, for the pack, um, half a pound per square inch. And this stuff claims to be at twice as strong. So it holds up to a pound per square inch. It comes in rolls, but it also comes in these pre-cut tape strips. You just peel that off the backing. The red part is a little fiddly to pull off, but not too bad with if you've got some fingernails or tweezers. And I uh, use this just like the other stuff. So I mean, they switched to this. It's about $20 US for a pack of this stuff, which probably would do, you know, six to eight cases, depending on the size of your figure cases. So not too bad. Overall, you're probably looking at putting in about $20 per case which isn't dirt cheap, but they're, uh, they're sturdy and reliable. So. If you further want to upgrade your insert and protect your fingers from these sharp edges, one thing that you can do is grab some tape. I happen to have some cloth gaffers tape, which works great, but uh, you know, any packing tape would be fine or any sort of uh, electrical tape or something like that. And you can use the tape just to wrap those sharp edges. Put it on wrap it around, and this is thin enough that your, your minis are going to have no problem magnetically attaching um, to your steel. Rip that off, place it on, wrap it around. And then once you've done all four sides, what you can do is just grab some scissors, and trim off the edges. All right, so we've got our sides taped. We've got our sticky tape foam on the back, and then you just drop that in, start from one side, so make sure it's nice and flat, slap that on, and ready to go. You can take one of the cast-offs from when you cut the tin, Again, being, being aware of the sharp edges, and do, do be careful of those. And what we're going to do is stick this onto the sides of the figure case. Just cut this down to size of a pair of tin snips. And with a few pieces of foam tape, like so, what this will allow to do for something like my Free Folk Army for Song of Ice and Fire, you can then accommodate taller models than you would otherwise be able to keep in this figure case. 
you got a whole army full of tall models, you know, if you got an army full of dragons you're trying to ma magnetize, just buy a taller figure case, right? I've got my in progress mammoth here, and with that magnetized, boom, you can just stick that onto your, the side, and you see how fast that was. No drying time, dries instantly. Um, it's cool. That lets you put one or two taller models in your finger case, uh, in and among your other individual models and units. There you go. Works great with bigger models, just use bigger magnets. Thanks for watching. Any questions, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time.